warming up those bodies. Roll back fast. Roll, roll, all the way back. Good. Take that nice wide stance. Feet ever so slightly turned out. We're going to drop down into a nice deep plie straight up and down. Here we go. One. And up. Two. Three. So use those inner thighs to guide the knees in line with the toes. Tuck the tailbone underneath. Draw that belly button through to spine. Four more here. Four. Three. Two. We're going to hold down straight to the side and stretch. One. And open. Two. Big reach. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Other side. Reaching long. One. And open. Lengthen through that side of the body. Press down through those heels in the ground. Four more. Four. Three. Two, straight up and down again. Up, press deep. Two. Good, so keep resistance through the legs. Squeeze the bum at the top. Six. Seven. Hold down, we're going to rotate round. One, other side. Two. Three. Four. Good. So we're going to rotate that leg all the way into a parallel lunge. Keep him bend through both legs. Keep that weight even. Eight more here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Straight up and down again. Up. Press knee. Two. Through those heels, squeeze the bum at the top. Seven. Hold down, tiny pulses here. One. Two. Round those arms at the front, keep that chest lifted. Six. Seven. Arms go high. One. Two. Lengthen through the arms, press the shoulders down away from the ears. We're gonna lift the heel, arms open out. One. Just that heel. Right heel lift. Three. Four to go. Four. Three. Two. Hold up. Nine. Press down here. One. Two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Keep that weight even. Press through that ball of the foot, lifting that heel all the way up. Six. Seven. Straight up and down again. Up. Press down. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hold down, tiny pulses here. Press down through those heels. Three, four, five, six, seven. Arms go high. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left heel comes up. One, stay low. Keep breathing. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Hold up. Five. Press down here to finish off. 16. 15. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. One, dropping down, coming up. Give those arms and legs a little shake out. Woo! All right, going into a little stretch. Take those arms straight to the side. Lengthen through the side of the body. Reach along with that top arm. Deep bend through the legs. Big contraction. Scoot round to the other side. Lengthen up through the legs. Reach along with that top arm side of the body. Good. Take a couple of deep breaths in each position. Soften down through the legs, bending down, scooting around to the other side. Reaching long with that top arm. Lengthen out into the long flat back, reach to that side, and take that back hand behind the lower of the spine. Don't square to the ground. Raising the abs. Both 
Tom Great Swamp. Take it down to the leg. Relax and into the stretch. Use that hip, use your hands to pull your chest towards the leg. Deep stretch here. Bending back with the opposite left leg. Bend back. Stretch up. Bend down. And up. Two more here. Bend back. And up. Once more. Bend back. And up. Taking that cross turn to the outside of the foot. Push an open same arm up to the ceiling as the leg. Opening up through that chest. Keep pulled up through those legs. Good. Dropping it back around to the front. Soften those knees, rolling up nice and slow through the spine all the way to the top. Take those arms straight to the side. Keep stretching across. Reaching out for that diagonal, long flat back. Take that back hand behind the lower of the spine. Reach long with that crossed arm. Shoulder square, brace the abs. Both arms reach long, lengthen through the spine. Take it down to the leg. Deep stretch here. Use those hands to pull the chest towards the leg. Bending back with opposite knee. Bend back. Stretch up. Bend back. And up. Two more times here. Bend back. And up. Bend down. And up. Taking that cross hand. Same on his leg. Cross hand is to the outside of that foot. Squeeze through that spine, open up through the chest. Keep it up through the legs. Good, drop it back around to the front. Take the hands behind the back, guide the arms up over the head. Relax in here, let yourself just drop down to the ground. Take a couple of deep breaths. Release those arms down behind the legs. Guide the arms down. Grab those ankles and pull your head towards the mat. Good. Take those hands down onto the ground. Now, from wherever you are, if you want to walk out and start a high plank from here, if you need to place them to the side, if you want to stay on your mat, walk yourself out and start nice. Wrist directly underneath the shoulders. Adjust the legs slightly underneath you. Now, if you're too uncomfortable in this position, you can drop the knees down and lift the feet. Or if it's too much through the wrist, you can drop down into a low plank. Otherwise, stay nice and high. Engaging through the legs and the knees. Squeeze your bum nice and tight. Draw that belly button up to your spine. Lengthen through the back and the neck. That breath flowing. Good. We're going to release that left leg straight out. We're going to point the foot, tap straight up and down. Up, tap down. Point that foot. Three. Isolating through. So working through that glute as you lift that leg high in the air. Seven. We're going to hold straight up. Flex the foot. Pulse up for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pulling back into child's pose. Little stretch back. Let your bum sink down into your heels as you press away with the hand. Take a couple of deep breaths here. When you're ready, steady yourself back up into that high plank or that modified position, holding it through, one leg out followed with the other. We're going to work through that opposite leg, foot is pointed straight up, tap down to the ground. Here we go. Up, tap down. Two, three, four. So keep that foot pointed, keep the leg parallel. Six, seven. 
seven, all tied, flex the foot, hold it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bring that foot back down into that high plank, just holding here. 16, 15, 14, keep squeezing your bum. Lengthen through the back and the neck. Eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulling back. sink down into the ground into your heels press away with your hands at the front take a couple of deep breaths here how are we all feeling amazing i hope amazing fabulous all right so if you've got your hand weights or your makeshift hand weights get them ready pick them up so whatever you're using as your hand weight, get them ready. Now, we're going to stand up. So, we're going to drop the feet directly underneath the hip. So, I'm going to stand on a slight angle so you can just see what my body's doing. Legs are directly underneath, weight are in each hand. Soften through those knees, so drop down into the leg. We're going to hinge forward with the upper body. 
keeping switched on, so draw that navel through the spine. Keep that chest nice and open. Drop the arms straight down. We're going to drive the elbows back. Exhale back, inhale down. One. So we're going to squeeze the arms back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So keep bending through the knees, hinge forward with that upper body, lengthen through the back and the neck so we're not straining through. Back and down. Using that breath, exhale back, inhale down, eight more here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna hold this one up, little tricep extension out. One, and in, two, three, four, five, Good, good. So keep the elbows locked in towards the body. Just that forearm extending out. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold out. Squeeze the arms together. Little pulp in. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're going to go all the way up to standing. Bring the weights together. Still feet directly underneath your hips. Bend through the legs. Extend the arms above the head. Little tricep extension. Straight down. Straight up. Here we go. One. Two. Up. Down. Straight up. Awesome. We're going to try and keep those elbows nice and tight towards the body. Inhale down, exhale as we extend up to the sky. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. We're going to hold down. Six, 
press straight up to a rise. I'm so confident. Up, like press down. Two, so as you press up through the leg, ease your bar behind, pull up through the front of the leg. Five. Six. Seven. Eight more here. If you've got both hands off, you can take the arms up to this, or just the outside arm. You can keep that hand on the bar for support. Four to go. Four. Three. Two. And one. We're going to drop down to two. Down. Then two. All the way up. Then two. Down. Two. So we're going to go halfway between the demi and the pull. Two. Up. And two. Down. Two. Up. And two. Down. Two. Up. Two. We're going to drop down to that full plie to four. Arm scoop down. Four. Three. Two. Arm scoop. Press up. Seven. Open out. Drop down. Two. Three. Arm and fist, press up. Two, three, two more here. Two, three, four, up, six, seven, last one. Down, two, three, four, up, six. Take a little rise and balance. Release both arms and fist, press down through the feet. Ease your bum, lengthen through the spine, through the arms. Lowering down. Give those arms and legs a little shake out. Lovely work. So, if you start your makeshift weight or your hand weight, your bottle, whatever you need, set up now so we're going to use that. So, if you want, you can face the bar on the other side. We're going to take a nice deep bend and lie straight down and up. We're going to do a little combination of things. I'm going to throw it straight to you. Just to start straight down. One. Now you can just do this exercise just with your arm if you don't have anything else. Six, seven, hold down. We're going to take a little three look pulses. We've got one, two, we're going to scoot all the way around. One, two, scoot all the way around. One, and in, scooting all the way out. Down, two, two, around, hold, down, two, around, hold, down, good, we're going to go straight up, one, and down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold down, little hold, two, four, hold, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more here. around to the other side or if you want to face around you can just move to my instructions. 
antagonize the threat. Why does that condition break down an option to add a D? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold down with a fat little pulse and stir. One, in and stir. One, in and stir. One, in, stir. the body so you feel through that chest open one in and open one in arm go straight up here we go one press in two three four five six seven in we go to the third Two, stir, pulse, two, and stir. One, two, and stir. Four, in, and stir. Four to go. Four, in, and stir. Three, in, and stir. Two more. Two, in, and stir. Last one. One, and stir. Good, we're going to rotate that outside leg, arm comes straight down, here we go. One, and open. Two, three, four, five, keep breathing. Six, smile it out. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. challenge yourself, if you want to grab both your hand weights at the same time, grab your hand weights as well. Now you don't need to have them. If you've got a wall, we're going to press ourselves against the wall. So you've got to find a flat wall that you can press against. If not, you can take this seated position holding onto the bar. But if not, if you can try and press yourself against the wall, we're going to slide down into a seated squat position. You're going to have your bum in line with your knee. You're going to tuck your tailbone underneath. You're going to draw your belly button into the spine. Press the shoulder blades against the wall. Staying low. Keep the weight down by your side. Keep that breath flowing. Good. Once we're on that position, stay nice and low. Now you can either keep your arms down low or keep them extended out. We're going to lift the heels. One, drop down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to go. Eight, keep breathing. Seven, now remember at any time you need to drop the hand weight down, you can just reach your arms long. Four, three, Two, bring the arms in, we're going to squeeze that ball or that cushion. One, 
three, two, one. Good. Extend that arm out. Point that foot. Extend the leg long and line with the hips. Roll straight in. Here we go. One. Spend too much time. Two. Three. Four. Good. So extending long through that body as we reach out. So reach away from both sides. Thinking about you. Twelve more here. Twelve. I spend too much time. Eleven. Thinking about you. Ten. Thinking about you. Nine. I, I spend too much time. Seven. Thinking about you. Six. Thinking about you. Five. Thinking about you. Four. You, you, you. Three. You, 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 Two. You, 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 you. One. Good. Flip that top leg. Bring that you, you, arm straight down. You, you, Tiny hold straight you, up to the ceiling. Keep that line, that leg in line with the hip. One, two, three, four, five. So keep pulled up nice and high through the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sixteen to go. Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good. Dropping down from wherever you are, pulling yourself back into a child pose position. Little stretch back here. I spend too much Good. time thinking Let about you. Let that down into the thinking ground. Breath away with the hands. I spend too much time thinking about you. Take a couple of deep breaths. Thinking about you. Thinking about you. Coming up onto a tabletop, wrists underneath shoulders, knees directly underneath those hips. We're going to take a deep inhale, contract up the spine. Inhale up. Exhale out. Inhale, contract up. Exhale out, as you're feeling. Two more here. Inhale up. Exhale out, as you're feeling. Once more, inhale, contract up. Exhale out, head to ceiling. So, pulling back once more into that child pose, a little stretch away. Alright, sitting yourself up for that next exercise, a little bit before we finish off. So, if you want to drop your bum down to the hand, feet round to the front. Now, again, if you've got your hand weight nearby, if your hand weights up or your alternative to what you're using. You don't need to use hand weights for this. You can drop them down if you need to. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to lower ourselves down, hinging back. I want you to keep distance between the chin and the chest, so imaginary apple or tennis ball. We're going to lift those legs up off the ground. The arms are going to come straight up. We're going to scoot arms up. One. And over. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, good. Seven, eight more here. So as we scoop up and over, squeeze that chest together. Six, keep raising those abs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Drop the feet, keep hinging back, hands in. Little Russian twist. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now at any point you need to drop those hand weights, you can do this just with body weight. Four to go. Four, three, two, break back up. Up, over. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the feet, little Russian twist. One, two. Three, four, five, good, big twist side to side, seven, eight, 
Nick on. Pull them in nice and tight. Take a little flight rock side to side. Massage that lower back down into the ground. Take a little rock front to back. Same thing. Massage that lower back down into the ground. And then we're going to take a little rotation around. So circling around. Same thing. Massage that lower back down into the back. Good. Rotate the opposite way. Happiness is right there where you lost it when you took the bed. Good. We're gonna pull that right leg in nice and tight towards the chest. Extend that opposite left leg long. Pulling in that leg nice and tight. Rotating that right ankle outwards. One, two, three, four. Rotating inwards. One. Two, three, four, good. Taking that leg that you're hugging, twist it across to the opposite side, anchor it down with that left hand, twist it open with the opposite right arm looking towards that hand. Try and keep both those shoulders planted on the mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, relaxing down. Pulling that left leg, sorry, that right leg back and towards the chest. Pull it nice and tight. Give it a good hug. Place it on top of the opposite side this time. Drop that right knee and flex the foot. Pull that under the left leg in nice and tight towards the chest. Keep flexing that right knee all the way up. Take a couple of deep breaths in the Extend that bottom left leg up to the ceiling. Lengthen through the leg if you want to adjust the grip. Flex that foot, keep that leg long and extended. We're going to place the opposite right foot back down on the mat, keeping that leg lengthened and long. Keeping the hips square down on the mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose. As you breathe out through the mouth, gently pull that leg a little further towards the chest. Bending that left leg in this time, extending out that right leg. Pull that leg in nice and tight towards the chest, give it a good hug. Rotating that foot outwards, little circle round. Good, reverse it inwards. 
working through all the toes. Good. With that leg, we're going to twist across to the opposite side. Anchor it down with that right hand. Twist and open with the opposite left arm. Try and plant those shoulders on the mat. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth, relaxing into the stretch. Pulling that leg back into the chest, give it a good hug. Place it on the opposite thigh, open up that left knee, flex the left foot up. Pull that under right leg in nice and tight towards the chest. Keep flexing that top foot up. Extend that bottom leg up and through to the ceiling, lengthen through the leg and flex the foot. Keeping that leg long, place the other foot on top of the thigh, back down onto the mat. Try and keep that leg extended, lengthen through the knee, keep the hips square down onto the mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose. As we breathe out through the mouth, gently pull that leg a little further towards the chest. Bending both legs in, a little circle around in the hips. I'm just going to turn the music down so we can keep stretching through. So just rolling around onto our tummies, one last little thing. So coming all the way down flat, what I want you to do is we're actually going to go into a reverse frog position. So we're going to draw the legs of the knees out to the side, connect your feet together, and then just let your feet be the anchor, the anchor to gently drop down into the ground so we can stretch through those hips. So if you're, if you're up here, that's fine. Just let that weight of the feet just draw you down to the ground. Now, if you want to increase that stretch ever so slightly, just come up onto those forearms and then just gently press back into the hips as you let those feet drop down into the ground. So just taking a couple of deep breaths in this position, just relaxing through. <clears throat> Good, extend the legs out long behind, tuck the toes underneath. We're gonna push ourselves back into a downward dog. So drive those heels down into the ground, pressing through the hands into the shoulders, lift the hips to the ceiling. Keep dropping those heels deep into the mat. Bring the feet a little closer together. Bend the right knee and drop the left heel down into the ground. Swap it over, bend the left, drive the right heel into the ground. Walking the feet in towards the hands. Feet flat onto the mat, adjust the weight, soften through the legs. So we're gonna connect our left hand into the inside of the left foot. Keep that left leg bent, straighten up through the right leg, twist and open with that right arm up to the ceiling. Take a couple of deep breaths. Good, dropping back down, soften both the legs. Same thing to the other side. So connect that right hand into the inside of the right foot or leg, bending through the right leg, straighten up through the left, twist and open with that left arm up to the ceiling. Using that forearm down on that leg to really press against the leg to open and twist up through that spine. Dropping back down, both knees soften down, take those hands behind the legs. We're gonna lengthen up through the legs, straightening up the knees, hug that chest towards the legs. Yeah, so pull up through the knees and the legs. Pull yourself towards the legs with those arms behind. Dropping down, soften the knees, rolling up nice and slow through the spine to the top. As you come to standing, big shoulder roll back, open up through that chest. And we're all finished. Well done, everyone. Fabulous work. Nice to see everyone. I, I hope everyone you. enjoyed class. It was amazing. Thank you. You are more than welcome. Thank you. Um, so hopefully once restrictions lift and we hopefully can get back into the gym or even outdoor classes, obviously we're going into summer. I know last year we did some of those bar the classes down along on the that water. Was great. So oh, I mean, if yeah. there's an option to do any of them, I'm going to try and suggest that we can do that. Obviously there's social distancing, I think that was a really nice, you know, it's just nice to be out in the air and it's nice for everyone to like feel like they're coming together again as well. So um, 
I'll definitely put that suggestion forward. But it's so nice to see everyone and obviously stay in touch with me through socials and um, there will be someone next week to take over bar. So please come back next week and do class. Know that there's always going to be a bar class there. But um, yeah, how did everyone go? How's everyone feeling? I know we're all in there. It's hard to talk at the same time. Was amazing. Is everyone feeling good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah really it's really good. It's really good. Oh, good. Can we it's still so nice continue your classes? Will you continue your own personal classes? Because I've been doing yeah, so through both. So I, my husband and I, we teach separate bar classes through our own sort of online setup. But obviously, like, yeah. it's, you know, I'm not trying, like, I want to encourage everyone to, you know, do classes wherever. Don't feel, yeah. but if you like and you enjoy, please feel free to come. It's totally up to you. Um, yeah. Obviously, you'll see on social media, like, there's you'll see posts, but... Yeah, my husband and I, we're Coach Sharp Fitness. I know it sounds really random. My last name is Coach. His last name is Sharp. It's very original. Um, mm -hmm. People just think that it's him because it's Coach Sharp. It's really weird, but it is actually both of us. But obviously, like, there'll be a bar teacher next week at One London. But if you want to pop in and have a class with us, please just message and have a chat. But um, yeah. I definitely am going to try and suggest that we can do a class out along on the tent. That like would the, be great. Yeah. Because... It's just, yeah. it's a perfect spot really to do it. There's the bar set up there and it gives us a chance to like, you know, still be together, still connect. Socialize, and, um, yeah, still. Yeah, and I can't say why we can't because they've said we're allowed to be outside to exercise. So long as we have that distance between, you know, why not? Excellent but, um, idea. We'll support it. Amazing. Well, the See weather's you later, really good. guys. Things. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.